Hi guys, it's Channing here and today I'm coming through with a Royal Style hair tutorial. For today's video, we will be using the Fashion Obsessed Hair Styler for long hair. It's in this type of packaging. I'm gonna give you guys a up close view of how it looks in the package. And be in here from the side. So we'll be using this today in order to accomplish some sort of hairstyle. We're gonna see what we end up with. We're gonna try and get a little creative today. So it looks like this when you open it. So I've noticed a lot of these products, they look a lot alike. They just serve different purposes. Like this, it's double loop this time, so. Hmm, that's interesting. We still have the button here and the same little strap that wraps around. So what are we gonna do today to our hair? I'm gonna start by separating my front section. Right now I'm working on a fresh twist out on my natural hair. Gonna hold this here in the front and I'm going to turn to the side. So at this point I opened up the hair accessory. I placed my hair in the middle and then I began to roll it. You'll see me rolling it up. And it doesn't matter if you guys can't see because I did not leave this. I just decided to share this footage with you guys so that you'll be able to see exactly the way that this hair accessory looked with my hair without any type of extensions added. And that's it, it's actually really cute. I just wanted a more dramatic look. Check it out. <laughs> so let's get right to it. I've added clip-ins to my hair for the added length so that I could have a much bigger and more dramatic look using this hair accessory and now I'm doing the exact same steps. I've taken my hair through the middle of the hair accessory and I'm going to drag it down to the end while still trying to hold my hair in place because I've told you guys I'm working with so many different lengths at the moment and I'm just rolling it in the upward direction. And you will see me begin to tuck. I'll start pushing the hair down into it just to make sure that I have a neater look in the end. I'm tucking from the top <laughs> and I'm also tucking from the bottom as well. So guys, once everything is secure, I will wrap the loop around the button and I'll continue to tuck as needed. You can even add a few bobby pins if you need to. And guys, this would make a perfect protective style. Like it's very loose. It won't put any unnecessary stress on your natural hair. Here I'm just making sure that I have all hairs in place and everything is tucked and as neat as I would like it. So now is where we start embellishing. We've already done the main part of our hairstyle. Now we just have to find a way to frame the face nicely and just bring the style together. So I will begin by pinning the left side over the middle of the bun. So it gives it like a swoop effect from one side and also gets rid of that loose hair. I will then take the other side, the same exact area, and do the same exact thing. And remember, this is a very loose style. It's not meant to be sleek or perfect. And just make sure that everything stays tucked and in place. 
And now for the top area, I really wasn't sure if I wanted to leave some out or what I was really going for. But I decided to lay it down as well. It took a bit of stretching. So that's what I'm doing here. And I'm also pinning that to the right side in order to get like that swoop effect. But I wanted it thicker on one side, of course. And because I have a lot of different layers in my hair, I was left with a few short pieces that wanted to be stubborn. <laughs> so we ended up just pinning those to the side as well. And that's pretty much the style. Now it's your choice whether or not you choose to pin the short pieces in the front or just kind of let it hang a tad bit. Whatever you prefer. <laughs> Now I'm going to give you guys a full 360 view. I think the style is work appropriate. It's very simple, chic, elegant, all of the above. <laughs> it's a cute little simple style. And I think adding the bang down a bit more just gave it a little oomph for me because it made it more so on the younger side than the older side, if you know what I mean. But yeah, that's pretty much this tutorial. If you guys enjoyed this look, please be sure to give me a big old thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and do not forget to check out worldastyle.com. All links will be included in my description box, so don't forget to check that out. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!